and salutations. How have you been? My name is Lady, and I am not a professional. I'm just a friendly lady. I like your pants, and I like your face. Today, we will be going over a topic that is known to the society of the world, but a lot of people like to ignore, and that's bullying. I am sure already there are hundreds and possibly a upwards of a thousand videos that exist on YouTube today and other platforms. And these videos all exist on this topic already of bullying. It's a really big issue. They have created PSAs, they have created documentaries, they've created a lot of forums and complaints and stuff dedicated to this topic already. But what's the harm in just one more? We will be going over various ways of how to cope and how to survive and how to deal with bullying. It doesn't have to be just you, it doesn't have to be someone you know or love, it can be anybody. You see someone on the street getting bullied, why not help them out? It could be for anyone, it doesn't have to be about children getting bullied, it doesn't have to be a teenager, it could be adults, it can be pre-elderly, it could be the elderly themselves, it could be anybody. It could be your next door neighbor, as I said, it could be anybody, it could even be you. If you are one of these people, or you know someone who is in the situation, we're going to come up with ideas, hopefully, to help you or help them get through this and cope and help themselves or you can help them. We will be going over how to cope and how to survive or maybe you can help others cope and survive with the situation at hand. The definition of bullying is to hurt, harm, or intimidate or coerce someone who is deemed as vulnerable to someone else. This can be anyone, as I've mentioned before. It could be kids, tweens, children, babies, um, pre-elderly, elderly, anybody, basically. It could be dogs, it could be cats, it could be... You could bully someone's car, for all that matters, you know. And as I said before, it doesn't have to be just you who's getting bullied. It could be you from the outside seeing someone else who is getting bullied. Bullying happens to anyone that is seen as vulnerable or weak or someone who's easy to trigger, even. I remember when I was younger, believe it or not, I was bullied since the very day I walked in the door at school and it was K-5 and the first thing that people picked on was the fact that I mixed and I have really light skin. I actually was subject to um, racial discrimination and racial bullying. That was the first thing that I encountered when I was younger. I'm not sure other people have encountered bullying for different things, but yeah, you would, you'd be surprised at what you can get bullied at. There's a lot of things that you could get bullied about. Just about anything, even. Your hair, your clothes, your shoes, your mom anything. I was bullied by the neighborhood kids for various reasons. I honestly still don't know why. I think honestly the bullying about the neighborhood kids thing was because I was actually kind to their parents and to my parents and I was actually obedient to authorities. I actually wanted to, you know, receive Christmas presents. You know, I didn't want to go out and be like the rest of the kids throwing rocks. I was that one kid who wanted to stay inside and and like actually help the parents because they seemed stressed. I, I was just different. So I got bullied for that a lot by the neighborhood kids, if anything. I was also bullied in school a lot, especially in the earlier stages when kids don't know any better, like really don't know any better. I didn't find out until a couple of months ago that I have Asperger's syndrome or Asperger's syndrome. People make fun of that all the time, but whatever. But um, Asperger's syndrome makes you kind of awkward. It almost is like a social development issue. It's a personality disorder, um, but it does really change the way that you socialize with others. And that created a big, 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 big problem for me in school. Um, I got framed a lot in school. I was blamed a lot in school, and I was too socially awkward to explain the fact that I didn't do these things. So I ended up in the principal's office a lot, and on top of my awkwardness, um, because I couldn't explain things socially, I thought things were 
socially okay, even though it wasn't, like, really socially acceptable, like, making random animal noises in school, yeah. Yeah, that, that was me. I was in the back of the class, or the front of the class, just throwing crap and making noises and being weird. I, I was that weird kid. I'm still that weird kid, except I'm not a kid anymore. But then on top of that, of being weird, I was also really reflective of what was happening in my household. There was a lot of fighting. I'm not, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. There was a lot of domestic abuse and a lot of domestic violence. And I was taking that to school. I have no siblings. I was taking that to school and mimicking it. I was swearing at some point. I was just like... I don't know, I was kind of like really mimicking things and reflecting the tension that was there and I would, I was reflecting a lot of issues that were going on at home and I was taking out my tension on being weird and because my parents were not teaching me how to socialize, I also, having Asperger's, just couldn't put the socializing together so I got bullied a lot for being really awkward. And then as I grew up in high school, at some point I got bullied in the weirdest of ways. Some people these days actually still go through this, but when I tell people my age, as an adult, I tell people my age what had happened to me when I was in high school and when I was a kid. The things that they heard from me, they said, that sounds like it came from the movies. You actually went through that? Yeah. You'd be surprised at what people can go through in bullying. Some people have it worse. Some people don't have it that bad at all. So when I was bullied, like I was put, I was put in lockers. I can still fit in a locker apparently. I had food thrown in my hair. I had my bus money taken. I had all the cyberbullying jokes. There was a mural carved in the bathroom of my face and so many slang words you'd probably want to wash your eyes out with all the holy water you can find after all that. You'd be praying for some people if you found out what they were putting all over my face in the bathroom. It's crazy. I was put in the dumpster. I was put in the toilet. There's a lot of things that happen in um, bullying that you don't actually know. Um, my mother never questioned it. She just thought that I was roughhousing at school. So some people don't have the option to go home and vent about their bullying issues and they can never really get it fixed because people just don't believe the story of when you were put in the locker. This is where I come in. I want to be able to help people who are going through that or someone who has been through that before or you've seen it happen. Hell, honestly, at some point I was actually nearly, uh, Put, put to death. Put to death. Not even gonna lie about that. Bullying can get really, really extreme. And that's not only one time that happened, it's actually happened maybe about twice or so. So, it can get pretty extreme. At some point I was actually bullied for the fact that I was deemed intelligent, but I was bullied until about the last year of high school, um, my senior year because I became funny, actually. I learned how to be funny and artistic and stuff like that in my free time once I realized how to ignore the bullies. That was a really big step for me, and I hope to help you, I hope to help you achieve that at some point. Achieve that not getting bullied part, or maybe get through it to achieve better. Yeah, on occasion I still get bullied a little bit as an adult, actually. Um, mostly because of my deformity. I was actually bullied into this deformity. I kept getting hit in the face at a very young age, so this stopped growing. And adults still, the ones that never grew up and still pretend that they're in high school, they still pick on this. It's one of the easiest things you could see. You look at my face, you see this is a ha ha ha. It's whatever. I mean, I'm okay. I, I got over it. I don't care anymore, but it still happens as an adult and elderly get bullied all the time sometimes. And it happens a lot, but elderly people actually still get bullied. Um, it's not impossible. Either other elders abuse another elder or the staff abuse and bully an elder as well. It's not uncommon. It's actually... Recently on Facebook I was scrolling through and saw that 
um, there is a law coming out where you can actually install cameras in your grandmother, great grandmother's nursing home or hospice care or wherever they're being taken care of because of the amount of abuse and bullying that is going on within elderly homes now. You didn't think that that was possible, but they're creating laws about that. I just don't know where right now, but they're actually creating laws about it because it's becoming more common. So aside from me ranting, I just really wanted to say that I understand where you're coming from. Not many people can say that. Um, my mother and my father were never bullied like that, so they didn't understand. A couple of my exes were not bullied either, so they didn't understand. And I'm actually someone who has never fought anyone, and I mean this. I can pinky promise it to you, I have never fought anybody in school, ever. I never raised my fist, I never slapped anyone, I never, I never did that, so I'm a very peaceful individual, even though I'm gothic. I am actually quite peaceful, and I do understand where some people are coming from, if not most people are coming from when it comes to bullying. I might not have gone through your exact situation, but if anything, I do understand. But anyway, sorry I keep going off of track. This is supposed to be how to survive, not talk about my life story. There are probably billions of people who have been bullied. Actually, the statistics say that maybe one in two individuals have been bullied. So about 50% of all people who exist have been bullied. Not sure if it has been actually persistent, but a lot of people do just take it, take it in, get over it, and survive. And there are some people who don't. That's where we get some of the issues with um, students and adults who can't get over it exactly. They don't have the support. And that's where we get the stories, the very tragic stories about homicides and suicides and you hear about those on the news because it happened. They're trying to bring this into view of the public eye so that they can hopefully continue to progress the help for people who are being bullied. It's not a topic to be taken very lightly. This is something to be taken very seriously. One of the biggest first steps that I've noticed to helping the situation of bullying is to notice that you or the other person is actually being bullied. To know that that is existent is actually a very big priority, a very big achievement for a lot of people. There are people who are getting outright abuse. There's people, there are people who are getting outright harassed. There are people who are also mistaking bullying for constructive criticism. Actually, that's not bullying. That's supposed to be helpful. But there is a really big difference between criticism or constructive criticism and bullying. Abuse is against the law. You can go and get a restraining order against someone who is abusing you. Abusing leaves marks. If someone comes up and hits you or slams you into a locker, you can actually take them to court and you can press charges, and there's a whole lot of other things you can get into, but the abuse is actually against the law. If someone lays their hands or verbally abuses you to the point of where you do not know who you are anymore, that's actually considered abuse, and you can go and legally take steps to get this person, should I say arrested? Should I say charged against? Basically, this person's going to get in trouble. Harassment and bullying are very similar, but there's also some differences. Harassing being bothersome, and bullying is more so, well, it's bothersome too. Harassment and bullying, that there's a difference, but I, I honestly can't think of it right now. Bullying and harassment are very similar, but also very different at the same time. I'll go through that at a separate time. And constructive criticism is completely different, where they're saying like, oh, well, I think you could have done better on that project. I would rework the way that you said those things. If you're taking that for bullying, unless they're being extremely passive aggressive and saying that all the time over things that you know are actually perfectly fine, that might be passive aggressive bullying. But look out for constructive criticism, they're trying to help you. 
When the internet says something about bullying, it says a couple of things. The internet says things like ignore, and they also say have confidence, which I will also make a video about this later, something about how to gain confidence if you don't already have it, or how to bring it out if you have only a little and you want to bring it to the surface. It does actually help you in the, in the process of getting over bullying and the process of stopping bullies in their tracks. There's also finding constructive coping mechanisms such as drawing or painting or singing, and also knowing that you are not alone. As I had mentioned earlier, maybe one in two, half of the population, half of the people who have reported it, or half of the people who have been asked, have been bullied. You are not alone. Also, know that you are not the problem. You are not responsible for your bullying. You aren't. No matter how many times the bully says, oh, you put that on today, it's your fault, you're not actually the problem. It's their insecurities. Bullying is actually a learned behavior. It is not your fault. Um, as I had mentioned earlier, bullying, you learn it from someone else. Either they have been bullied, or their parents are bullying each other, or their parents are bullying them, or their siblings at home who doesn't go to the same school is bullying them. It is a learned behavior. I've actually noticed that myself from watching others who are younger, same age, or older than me. They will take after a different role model because that's how humans are. Do not isolate yourself, no matter how much you hate the fact that you are being attacked by this person. Do not isolate yourself, it will only make you an even bigger target. You are giving them what they want. They want you to feel absolutely miserable so they can feel better about themselves. If you were to go about isolating yourself, it would just make the bully stronger. Also, if you are being bullied, it is a great idea to learn how to deal with your stress that is coming from taking on the fact that you are being bullied and realizing that you are being bullied and attacked wherever you are. And also, the internet does mention telling your parents, friends, family, co-workers, bosses, whoever. Whoever is in charge of you, whoever is watching over the situation, who is not helping, you let them know. Personally, there are a few things that I have done to help out with the bullying situation. I had a very weird method of being the most annoying person that I could possibly be to the bully, in the sense of taking what I had mentioned earlier about telling others about when it's happening or what's happening. I decided to be the most annoying person, and whenever the bullying would happen, immediately as soon as it started happening, or after it start after it happened, I would go up immediately to the teacher or to my boss and say, this person is doing this right now, make it stop, or just do something, I would get up and be annoying about it. If someone would eventually listen and either be too annoyed at the fact that I am telling them that someone is bullying and eventually go after the bully, or the bully would be highly annoyed at the fact that I was making them look stupid and calling them out every single time that I would go up to the teacher or my boss and put them on the spot. They don't really like that too much. That's not the attention that they want. Also, if someone was being a bully, I decided that, depending on my mood, that I would be annoying in another way. Whenever someone was bullying me in class, I would say, What are you doing that for? You know you're not supposed to be talking in class. Or I would go, Stop, Jason! What are you doing with your hand down your pants? No, I'm not taking my shirt off. They weren't actually saying that to me at all. I would just completely embarrass them, and that's where I started becoming funny in my senior year of high school. It really depended on my mood which type of annoying I wanted to be. Also, a very big thing that I already said that I would be making a video on is faked confidence and faked superiority. I am not the tallest person in class. I am 5'3" but I would stand around and fake my confidence and I would just intimidate people on accident. When you fake confidence, you make confidence. And when you make confidence, the bullies don't want to pick on you anymore because you have superiority and you have that notion about you that you are not someone to be messed with. And it actually did work. I'll make that a video later, just look out for it. Another thing that I did was to become funny and talented, despite the fact that they were telling me that I wasn't funny or talented. 
When you can get a bully to accidentally laugh, you know that you have won the game. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> They're just like, oh my, and you go, yeah, I guess I am, like, hey, and they just start laughing and it becomes great. It's magical. I'm not sure how it happens, but it's magical. Also, another thing that I have done, but I guess I should say that I have not done to help the situation is to never copy their behavior. No matter what they're doing, don't go around and start bullying other people because you want to be like them. Don't copy their clothing style. Don't copy who they are. You're basically giving them a big ego boost and you really don't want to do that. That just makes it worse and you're enabling. That's not going to help the situation. If you are an adult and you are going through this and it is at your job, why aren't you taking it to the highest person possible? Possibly even the CEO, the owner of the building, your actual boss, the supervisor, manager, even your co-workers. You need to take it to the top of the line. That top of the line will look at them and go, why did I give you that job if you're going to be treating your inferiors like this? I did this at my job actually and got a supervisor fired because of the way that he was treating. Also, maybe think about getting a whole different job. There are, uh, like, there's a whole job crisis going on right now where there are too many job openings and not enough people willing to work those job openings. Somebody will accept you, if you want to get a different job, to avoid this. And if it's a stranger outside, someone on the bus, someone like your neighbor or something, just ignore them or just tell, tell the health department, tell them that their house stinks or something. Have them go get bullied by the health department or something. Don't pay them any mind at all. They are not worth it, trust me. If I were to go back in time and I were to have told myself something about this sooner, what would I have done sooner than later? I myself, despite my age, would have went and found this kid's parents and told their parents myself sooner. Don't go to the teacher if the teacher's not gonna do anything. The principal won't do anything, go find their parents. Find some way to find their parents or find someone else who knows them, who knows their parents, and tell their parents that you're being bullied. It's worth a shot. Also, I would have told myself to ignore them a lot sooner. They are not worth the time of day. Trust me. I've wasted countless hours preoccupying myself with, oh, I have to fix my hair. They don't like how my hair looks. I must change my clothing style. I have to wear a billion types of perfume. Let me get this outfit that is over a thousand dollars. Just to be like them. I really should have ignored them sooner. I wasted a lot of time and money trying to appease them and it's not, it's not the best idea. And when I was being cyberbullied at the time, I really should have blocked their social media stuff a lot sooner because I, there is an option on Facebook and on Instagram to block people who are annoying you. And I didn't know that until a little bit later, after I've already cried my eyeballs out after being cyberbullied. You can block them on social media if they are bullying you. Remember that. And if you are someone who sees someone is being bullied, what I recommend for you is to do what that person who is being bullied is scared to do go up and actually talk to the teacher on their behalf. Go up and tell that bullied person's family that they are being bullied. Maybe they're not going home and telling to them about that. If their parents seem like they're not paying attention, talk to social services. I actually was put through an adoption later and I am a lot better off because my parents were not caring at first at all. And if you see someone who is being bullied, Try to become their friend, because honestly, no one did that to me when I was actually being bullied, and I really, really, really could have used a friend. I didn't have any siblings. No one really knew about that. I couldn't really talk to anyone else. My parents were being stupid, and the teachers weren't really trusting me because of what the kids were saying. Go up and be their friend. They don't have many friends, if any at all. Try. Make them laugh. You gotta do something. Laughter is really good medicine. Trust me, I know and support their talents and support their confidence, try to build them up because if you of all people manage to up the confidence of someone who is going through something like that, technically you, you might actually be the savior of a life. 
If someone has the confidence to get rid of bullies themselves and can encourage themselves to get away from bullies, you could have stopped one of those tragedies on the news. Think about that. And remember again, if you are someone who sees it happening or you're going through it yourself, bullying is actually against the law. It can actually be tried in court and you can actually get someone arrested. If you see someone is being bullied profusely and they're going through a lot with that, you can actually report it yourself. You could be helping them out with that. There are plenty of things that could be helping with the coping and there's also plenty of stories that can go along with the bullying. There's so many, honestly, I can't even think of them all. I'm pretty sure I've done a lot more to help the fact that I was being bullied, but I can't honestly think of all that right now. I also want to take a moment, um, sincerely as person to person, not just a person on YouTube, to actually say, I want to say this, I want to say this sincerely, that I am sorry for the people who won't say sorry to you. If you went through bullying and no one has ever come back to say that they are sorry for what they've done and said to you, I would like to be the person to help you and say that I am sorry on their behalf because they have not, re they have not apologized to you them themselves. It doesn't seem like much and I know that I am a stranger but I'd like to say sorry. Really, I would. Bullying is not, it's not okay. And I'm really, 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 really sorry it happened. Take my apology because some people are just a-holes. And thank you for being strong. And thank you for not taking it out on everybody. Thank you for being you and being strong and surviving. You're stronger than you look, and you're a lot stronger than you think. Keep being strong. You got this. I like your face. If anyone happens to have any stories of how they overcame bullying, and would have any tips and tricks as to help out with this if I were to make another video on this in the future, let me know in the comments. I honestly would like to hear about it. Maybe you would help me remember some of the things that I was forgetting about. And the best ideas, the tips, and the tricks that you give me will be featured, your comment will be featured, username and all, in the next video that I create of this topic. If you would like to see more videos of this type, please like this video. It's not completely necessary. Likes don't actually do too much for me or anyone. Not sure if you knew that. But it does let me know that you are supporting this topic and you would like to see more of it. Or just more of me in general. I plan on making more stuff. If you have any big, big, big ideas, probably ideas for petitions or something to help with the huge fiasco that is bullying, let me know also in the comments on top of the ideas, the little ideas that you have. Let me know about your big ideas. Honestly, I want to see if we can make something possible. And be sure to subscribe so that way you keep yourself up to date about when the next video is coming out. There should be a new video every Friday, coming soon to a YouTube near you. Thank you so much, and have a glorious rest of your night and or day. I'm Lady, and I'll stop bothering you for now.